Ah, oh, dude, that is so cool. This is my first time hatching these guys, so... Pretty awesome. Oh, shoot, I forgot to mention last episode... Oh, this might be the same episode. When, uh... When I was talking about my YouTube history... I, uh... Delivery has been the other channel I had, which is how I met some of my current subscribers and buddies on the Discord... Uh... It was, it was kind of like a reboot of my YouTube hobby, I guess, if you want to call it that. Because I remember I was doing like JW2 speculation videos and updates and like uh, prediction videos, like what, uh, like what species are going to be in the game, what attractions, uh, like the deluxe edition. Which, by the way, I guessed three of the... Were there five or six? Hold on. Hoangosaurus, Megalosaurus, Pachyrhinosaurus, uh, Atmurs. Okay, so I guessed Pachyrhinosaurus right and Justern Burgia. So, not bad. Um, to be honest, I don't know why Hoangosaurus was in there. It seems kind of odd. I wasn't really the biggest fan of Huangasaurus in JB1, and honestly, I'm not that big of a fan on it um, in JB2. If, I, if I'm going to use a if, I, if I'm going to use a Stegosaur in my park, I'll probably either just use uh, Stegosaurus itself or uh, Woohoosaurus. I'm gonna have to like edit these later. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, like I had that channel, and it was kind of like a reboot because I hadn't really posted anything on my on this channel in a fat minute. Probably, uh, it was probably like a year and a half, maybe, of like no content. And so I did that, and it was supposed to be like more official. Like I finally using my, I finally started using my mic. Um, I was doing all these cool speedrunning videos, and I still kind of do them every now and then, um, which is it was another hobby I picked up. And I uh, I gained about 45, 50 subscribers on that, and and it, it kind of didn't really dawn on me. It's funny, this channel I had was still gaining subscribers at a faster rate. And, uh, because I think I went from, like, 90 subscribers on, on this channel to about 118 in a span of, like, six months. And meanwhile, I had been trying to grow my other channel. And I, uh... I started uploading to both, kind of, like... I think I did. I don't, I don't have like my uh, my information from me, so I can't verify m uh, most of this. But I, what was it? At one point, I realized like, why am I uh, having this channel to devote my time to when my other one is growing? And not like that I cared about growth, but because um, again, like I I definitely won't be doing this in ten years. Uh, it, it just seemed weird. I, I think my intent was to have one be kind of like a Let's Play channel and one to have like other projects because um, I did like a Dead Rising. I just realized there's no potted plants on this uh, building set. I have, I said I have these. I wonder if I can make that. Uh. Yeah, speaking of diner tubers and everything, I thought about doing another, um, with the 30th edition coming up, uh, speculation on, because there's still a lot of species that haven't been used and that were or have appeared in the Jurassic World franchise, but not in the uh, game, uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2. 
And that's kind of what my deluxe edition video two years ago was about. And why can I not find the amenities? Oh, here we go. No. But I don't know what the 30th edition is going to bring. Apparently the DLC has nothing to do with the edition, but the but the decoration pack that comes with it will be. And, I mean, I even said before, there's a lot of decorations that can be used. Just like, look at these pallets and uh, dust and everything. If we go here to the uh, the dump, there's a vending machine right there. And that could bring something, like... I, like I said, I only get on this game every once in a while, mainly when there's a new update or DLC. Okay, you need more forest, but I don't, I don't have comfort on, so it's not like he's on breakout. Also, I don't know if trees, uh, if trees in this game, as in like the individual ones, I know in the first game they did. I don't know if they add to the forest stat. Because I know in the first game, like, the Redwoods and everything did. But, uh, you know, for the year and a half that jay has been out, uh, the game has come a long way. Like, I think what the game really needed was, like, you know, more decorations and buildings. Uh, like, the zip line, the viewing dome, the log, gal uh, log viewing dome, or gallery, God, I can't talk. And the, uh, the the different feeders and placement, like, that's what JB1 needed and the game needed. It's nice to have all these species and everything, because, I mean, not including, um, yeah, there's 86 land species. And, uh, how, how many? So there's probably over 105 species, maybe? Oh, there's a lot of fly. Yeah, so 106 species. I was off by one. And uh, yeah, there's a few things regarding the regarding the animals that I would like to see. For example, I would like to see like a little bio of uh, some of the dinosaurs. I know I mentioned this before, but uh, that Ceratosaurus, for example, it tells you what movies it's in or what media, which is cool. But I kind of wish that. It would be, it would tell you like a bio of it, like, oh, it was on Sorna 2001, uh, encountered by survivors, kind of like a little lore. Uh, I think that would kind of be the cherry on top. Well, who knows? That might be in the update uh, in a few months. But, yeah, but I think what JV2, JV2 essentially at launch is kind of what I wanted JV1 to be like. Because, um, God, I remember. When JV1 was announced, everyone lost their minds. I'm, I'm telling you, I know I, I spoke about it in my, in several of my videos, but people lost their mind. Uh, I know I did. Uh, like the trailer was announced and people went crazy. And, uh, cause it was like, what, like 15 years after JPOG? And people wanted a, cause the whole, the zoo building and roller coaster tycoon genre died out. Uh, probably since like Zoo Tycoon 2 or like Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Uh, it was dead for a long time, and people really wanted not not only like you know a JPOG remake or sequel, but just some kind of tycoon uh, tycoon game overall. Because I remember like. Uh, I still pop in my copy of, like, Zoo Tycoon 2 or something every now and then. And, uh, so, I remember, I, I remember they used to do those weekly profile, those species profiles, uh, every Friday. And I remember, uh, my schedule, I, I would go to the gym around, like, noon, maybe. And by the time I would come back, uh, like, walking back to my... Uh, to my dorm, uh, the the species profile that week would have been out. So, and those just like hyped us up. Um, it, I'm having a very hard time navigating the menu. And I, we were just like so hyped. Like I, I'm telling you, like if you ask like a 
standard Jurassic World fan or like Jurassic Park fan around the time, they would have told you the same thing. They're just absolutely hyped for the game. And I was too, and um, the first inkling that something felt wrong was, and also we were hyped because Frontier was doing it, and they're very uh, deft in the uh, park building genre. Uh, they helped, they did the Zoo Tycoon remake, and they did the Roller Coaster Ty uh, Tycoon 3 sequel. And those are pretty good. I know a lot of people hated Zoo uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I personally liked it because it was the only Roller Coaster ty Tycoon game I played. And a lot of people hated Zoo Tycoon, the, the, the remake, because it, it kind of like held your hand and you couldn't really customize your zoo. And I guess that's kind of like a great spoiler. <laughs> it's like kind of what happened with JV1. Uh, the first inkling I got that something was wrong was um, you couldn't. Uh, I, I remember like all these YouTubers, like Best in Slot and the Game and Beaver, and like several others did a uh, sneak peek of uh, Isla Mat uh, Matanceros. It was like the first mission in the game, first island, and and I thought it was it was an early build, but something seemed off, like. There are no customization options, and uh, dinosaur. There's like a lot of weird pre-release media that kind of gave off red flags, like something's kind of up. That there were no, and, and obviously, like the fun, the funnest part of any zoo building game or park building game is customizing your zoo or park or whatever sanctuary, whatever you want to call it. And there's literally none of that uh, in JV1. And you can see from the... And, uh, no biome customization, too. We had to wait, like, almost like a year and a half just to get, like, redwoods and placeable trees and very base-level uh, customization. And luckily now in JV2, we have all of these options, which I might I might put these in here. I, I, know, I know the Uteranus doesn't really like these, but it, it looks cool, so I'm just gonna put them in here. Which I, I kind of wish these did count for forest, because I mean they're they're trees. But but yeah, like um, and w when I first got the game, I I literally thought you had to unlock it, and like by the third island. Uh, Takano, I was like, oh, this this is the game, isn't it? And don't get me wrong, the dinosaurs look look amazing. And before JW2, they were probably like the best dinosaurs in game at the time. But it was just like really like 15 years, and I was very annoyed at launch. I'm like, 15 years after JPOG and Zoo Tycoon 2, and this is what we got. And uh, it felt like once again. Uh, like uh, Jurassic Park got the short end of the stick because I, I wasn't really a big fan of the Telltale, uh, Telltale game either. I know a lot of people like it. I, I personally wasn't a fan of it. Um, okay, why is it... Okay. But the Telltale game is a different story. I, I just remember, like, I was like, you're... Uh, it's 2018, and this has come from, like, the best... Because at this point, I think Planet Zoo and no, I think at this point Planet Coaster have already been released, and I'm like, really? Like, why? Why is Jay Wee getting the short end of the stick? Like, and I'm telling like nothing. Like, um, there was one Dino Tuber I watched. Um, name I think his name was like Shonasaur or something. Like, he he basically rage quit because like it nothing. He he did not like um, what front and it was weird like he was one of those people who would uh, clickbait and hype up the game even more than what it was, which I'm not really a big fan of. I know some diner tubers do that, and because uh, there are a lot of people who thought like, ooh, is there gonna be breeding? Is there gonna be Planet Zoo level customization? Is there gonna be 500 species? Or is there, is there gonna be marine and no, like, I wasn't one of those people who thought so. Like, I, I knew we weren't getting pterosaurs. And if they were, it's probably going to be like the fish tank ones we got in Return to Jurassic Park. 
But it just seemed so odd that all those people were like even hyping up more, and I I, I imagine those people were kind of like devastated at that. And I'm not I'm not here to say like oh like they should have known better, but I mean there were a lot of like fake leaks and um, kind of misleading media going around. And I'm sorry, there's a helicopter going above my house right now, so if you can hear that, I apologize. But and I, I'm sure I'm sure a lot of people remember that fake leak that went around like oh Jurassic Park era, which we did end up getting uh, pack hunting, uh, herding behavior. Uh, these different animal species that are in the game, but they some of them literally did not make it until JV2, like Therizinosaurus. And Allosaurus came in a Fallen Kingdom DLC, but I'm pretty sure people know the leak I'm talking about. It was like a long time ago. But yeah, uh, I'm just glad that JV2 is kind of bet more in line with what I imagined. And also, it is kind of funny, uh, speaking of Dino Tubers, uh, I think I was on talking about it earlier, but I got sidetracked. Does anyone, any, uh, this is a name people probably haven't heard in a long time. Does anyone remember View After 37? I used to love his videos when I was in high school, like when I was a kid. And, um, I used to watch his, like, uh, j -Pog Let's Plays. And he tried to come back to YouTube at one point, but then he left again. And... I just remember uh, his j Let's Play. I followed it, and he quit YouTube uh, the second to last episode of his uh, walkthrough. And because I remember I, I loved I loved his uh, series because he played uh, j -Pog Vanilla with no uh, with no mods. And I kind of get like peeved when um, the the only mods I like. Or the ones that like Best in Slot just did with like all the added decorations, because um, it looks cool. It kind of looks like you know, what if JPOG actually had all that cut content released to the game? And yeah, so he disappeared uh, a long time ago, and to my knowledge, he hasn't come back to YouTube since like 2013.